So tell me why you won't be when I ain't nothing like you. dressing or dip. No oil, no nuts. You're going to like this one. It's a ranch flavor one. So we're going to put this together and we're the main ingredients is hemp hearts, which is a very uh, nutritious um, seed. Um, so it's not a seed, so which is good. It gives you all kinds of uh, omega-3, omega-6, uh, phosphorus, magnesium, sulfur, vitamin E, uh, potassium. They, it, it has an abundance of uh, nutrition in there, so it, it's a really uh, healthy seed. It's kind of like a chia seed too. It's, but I mean, this has a nuttier fl flavor. Um, I believe the seed comes from the hemp heart, which is just kind of the seed shelled out type of thing. So it's kind of it's a hemp heart seed. Um, they're soft, but they they're kind of uh, got a little bit of a nutty base to it. So, which is nice. So we're going to put this together. We got all the ingredients here. Again, I'll put a link below so that uh, you can have everything, but uh, I'll sum it up more or less as I go along here. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, put this all in the blender, or most of it, and let's make some hemp ranch dressing. All righty, let's roll. So first things first, I'm going to put in, actually, lemon juice. So I've got almost a half a cup. Lemon lemon juice and have two cups of the hemp heart seeds i have some nutritional yeast a couple tablespoons of that talked about it before in the other video the uh use a little bit of that cheesy flavor and full of the uh, 12 vitamins so which is good and i got some garlic powder about two tablespoons of garlic powder a tablespoon of onion powder a couple pinches of salt sea salt in there and I love it in a minute. Need some Worcestershire, Worcestershire sauce. So I'm gonna put in a tablespoon of Worcestershire. 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 So do a tablespoon of that. I'm do a tablespoon. Uh, this is agave uh, syrup, basically nectar. Um, you can use maple syrup if you want. I have both, I'm just going to put agave in. won't make any difference really in the flavor, it's just more of an added sweetener, so... <laughs> you can use maple syrup. But don't use the... Use good maple syrup, not the syrup. And then... Um, here... Put in the pepper. Dijon mustard. Dijon! Just give it a little bit of a kick. I'm going to do a couple tablespoons of that. It's weird, you wouldn't think mustard would go in, uh, into a uh, salad dressing, but uh, it does. Spices it up a little bit, gives it that tang. for good measure. Might even add a little bit more at the end, depending on the flavor, maybe a little taste test. So uh, so we're gonna put that in, then we got 
milk. So I got oat milk. You can use any plant-based milk. You can use water if you want to. I have two cups, or a cup and a half here, basically. Um, you know, I'll just put it all in and see what happens. Put that in there. Most important ingredient, a little bit of love. Love. All right, so let's give that a blend. See what happens here. Let's plug it in first, and then uh, then we'll try to give it a blend. And see what happens. Okay, let's go. Okay, I can smell that Dijon mustard in there. So next, we're going to chop uh, up a little bit of the uh, green onion. Don't substitute this for regular onion because the uh, the extra will be on the end here. So just going to take two onions, cut them up, nice and fine. Cut my fingers. <laughs> See, I cut my finger here in that uh, little bit of dill stuff. Here I'm showboating, saying, Oh, do blindfold, do blindfold, he says. Close your eyes. Yeah, good thinking. Don't do that. Anyways, this all mixed up. And true old school fashion, tissue is in black tape. Maybe I'm not sure if I'm going to get stitches on it. I'm going to the nail. Almost cut my thumb off. Anyways, get this all mixed up. Good. So now we taste. Okay, so I'm gonna put a little bit more black pepper in. And I need a little bit more salt. One second. Both. Quarter teaspoon of salt there. A nice little mix. So you can see it's nice and uh, liquidy, but not too liquidy. It's still creamy. Give this a little more taste test again. 
much better. Okay, I'm gonna give this a little cleanup, put it back together, and I'll come back and grade it on uh, one to five drills and we'll see how we do. We'll right back. I'm back. And here she be. Nice hemp heart seeds ranch dill dressing. Well, let's give it a try. I just cut up a little bit of green, some spinach, and some uh, red and orange peppers. So let's give it a shot, see what it tastes like. You see, it's nice and creamy. It's got a little bit of a grit too, but not too much. It's thick enough that you're going to enjoy it. I can taste the, the Dijon in my thumb. I can taste the Dijon uh, in there. Uh, not so much the nuttiness, which I'm surprised from the um, Empire. I thought I'd taste a little bit more of that, but not really. I guess I could have put more in. But uh, I like the texture of it. it. It's creamy, but it's not too thick. Now, if you want to use this as a dip, aside from this, like, um, like a thicker dip, go back up on the uh, the plant milk uh, a little bit, maybe maybe by a third of a cup. Just slowly add it in a little bit at a time so you can see the thickness. Once it gets to the consistency you like, and keep it that. Once you refrigerate it, it's going to thick, thicken up overnight too. So this is really good. It's a nice dressing, oil free, nut free. Hmm. But if you, if you do make this, don't skip out on the Dijon. Don't put regular mustard in. Different flavor altogether. So. I'm going to give this a uh, four and a half. Four and a half out of five. Why not five? I donh. Not quite sure. It's got a little bit of that ranchy taste, but not quite what I remember nine years ago um, from ranch. But maybe if I add a little bit more of the nutritional yeast and stuff like that, I can get it to a five. So I'm going to experiment with that. But Four and a half is pretty good though. So, anyways, give it a shot. Let me know what you think. And uh, when I do, or if I do, hopefully I do. See you again. I'm saying much. Uh, be kind to the world and to my thumb. And we'll see you later.